God, let's focus today on willpower and shining a light on the willpower of those who have forgotten their innate talents. Amen. Throughout the exploration of sacred sexuality, an important aspect that the patriarchy likes to pound into people's heads that is not the full truth, because that's what the patriarchy is, a 50-50, sometimes even less, way of thinking, a less than government, less than mindset less than ways to continue the delusion, the mind control. It is talent versus hard work. That conversation has always rubbed me the wrong way. Why? Because even without knowing it, I've graduated to the level of where talent and hard work have contributed to my ultimate success. It's not one over the other. Yes, there are people out there that are fucking talentless. And yes, there are a bunch of people out there who work their ass off to get where they are. Yet why can't the two harmonize together? Why can't the two live together? We all know without hard work, you ain't shit. We all know though, with hard work, you still can be ain't shit. There's a talent that doesn't look like figure skating, hockey playing, mathematician, piano savant. It's an unseen talent. And that is the talent of will. Not everybody has will. Not everybody has will power. The will to live alone is a commodity, which is why people do anything from the roots of jealousy, envy, and greed to bring down stars. Willpower is probably the sexiest gift from God that has been bestowed onto man and woman. Those of us out there who are born with willpower most likely had to dig it up from the bottoms of the earth to really fully value it and understand it because that's what God does. God gives us chosen ones, highly coveted gifts that in the beginning, it takes a while to see because life is about breaking through the matrix for God to know that you are worthy of your birthright. Having broken through your particular matrix and having realized your willpower and everything else you were already born with, you are now ready to execute that will, to acquire the ultimate gift of God, which is wholeness, aka holiness. Yet, when the world is preaching that your talent is useless, you can easily become lost. So this episode is about uncovering and gently unpacking firmly what is already yours. Fear is a tactic used by God to 
keep you in line. I know that sounds crazy, but we have to remember that there's duality to everything. And you can't fear God one way without fearing God the opposite way. Fear is a tool, a tool that can harm you or a tool that can advance you. And usually for those who have been blessed with willpower, it is a tool of advancement. How do you advance with fear? Well, you feel it. All that fear that rocks you to the core, the fear of rocking the boat, is exactly what God wants, needs, and desires you to feel so that you can rock the useless off it and keep along with your journey. Yet again, you have to be willing to invest time and resources into the realization and the solidification of your talent. You are born a star is not enough. God can make anybody a star, but God chose you. And God gave you very direct instructions as you realize your willpower, the instructions become very clear. Those instructions consist of being yourself. <laughs> that's literally the instruction, like that, that's it. But fear keeps you in line in that it's a graceful path, yet also a strict path. And usually when things are strict because humans are taught, I can do whatever I want. I'm grown. I'm this or that. I don't have to listen to God. Or I can find my way around God or whatever. Yet you can't. You can't avoid God. Every major biblical story. <laughs> Let's give the example of Job lets you know that because God has you here for a purpose and despite the fact that God uses fear as a tool God also uses fear to pull you in closer because he understands the human need for thrill I was today years old when I finally stopped running from fear. And I said, fear, tell me what time it is. And fear showed me what time it was. And I said, all right, thank you. There was no questioning it. There was no, let's have a conversation about it. It was a full on, I feel fear because X, Y, Z. And then that's when I got real with myself. And that's when I had the conversation with myself. The parts of me that needed to recognize that, yo, stop running. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> so why waste your talent? Follow God. Let fear flow and blow like the wind. 
because energy is in motion. I am in motion. God is in motion. Getting stuck, absorbing toxicity due to the addiction of healing, being in the shadows, working from the unseen, because that's what patriarchal, meek, humble servants of God do. That's leading you to nowhere. Use your will for my purposes because that's what you're fucking here to do anyway. You're not here to be like them. You're here to be not even like. You're here to be you. So stop being a fucking ass about it and do what the fuck I told you. That is God. He's not a fucking fairy. No offense to fairies. And he's not a fucking demon. No offense to demons. Every, every aspect of life, every allegory of life serves its purpose. Yet God is real because God understands its duality. So fucking understand yours. You are talented and you work hard for it. As a talented collective, I expect nothing less than for us to be ourselves and get out of the dumps because nobody respects talents. Respect it yourself. Give yourself your flowers. Do it and be it on your own while always holding space for God to be and do and provide and take care and protect and nurture and all the wonderful gifts of God. Hold that space for God to be that for you. And your will will take you anywhere in the world beyond what money can buy. Because that's what those people who are projecting fear onto you are afraid of. You blowing up. But the blow up is inevitable. <laughs> All stars blow up. And what do they become? Supernovas, baby.